For months, people have wondered which COVID vaccine offers the best protection. Now new studies are beginning to show differences between the shots from Pfizer and Moderna. ABC 10 News anchor Derek Stahl is going in depth to explain why one shot might be pulling ahead. At UC San Diego Health, the hospital system has been monitoring its 19,000 healthcare workers to track how well vaccine protection is holding up. In a new study, they showed vaccine effectiveness from March through June was over 93%, but in July, it dropped abruptly to 65% against mild symptoms. You don't see waning immunity occur all of a sudden in one month, right? So there's some component of probably background um, waning immunity, but we think that there's two additional things that really account for this. Dr. Chris Longhurst says the highly contagious Delta variant arrived just as California dropped business restrictions June 15th, and people started mingling indoors without masks. Even with the drop in protection, the vaccines remained highly effective against severe disease. No vaccinated employee had to be hospitalized. But Dr. Longhurst showed us something else that wasn't released in the study. This is actually breaking up the Moderna and Pfizer data. UCSD found Pfizer had a bigger drop in protection than Moderna. By August, Moderna's efficacy was 65%. Pfizer's was down to 49%. Their findings mirror others across the country. The Mayo Clinic released data showing Moderna's vaccine was 76% effective in July. Pfizer's was just 42%. Across several states, they found people with Pfizer were about twice as likely to have a breakthrough infection than people with Moderna. This week, a study in Belgium showed the Moderna vaccine produces two and a half times as many virus-fighting antibodies as the Pfizer vaccine. So is Moderna officially better? My suspicion personally is that uh, we're going to find it's more about the dose gap than the vaccine itself. Pfizer and Moderna both use two doses of mRNA technology, but Moderna decided to space their doses out further at four weeks instead of three. La Jolla Institute for Immunology professor Dr. Shane Crotty says many vaccines work better with a longer interval. After that first immunization, your immune system is essentially still learning uh, about the target for, for quite a while. And it's not, it's not done learning at three weeks. It's not done learning at five weeks. He says the white blood cells that make antibodies actually evolve and they do a better job with more time. Earlier this year, researchers in the UK showed you can produce three and a half times as many antibodies from the Pfizer vaccine if you wait 12 weeks to give the second dose. The UK delayed second doses for its citizens, and scientists there are still studying the effects. I wouldn't be surprised if the UK finds with a 12-week gap between first and second dose that um, both vaccines are equally uh, effective. And in fact, the UK may not even need booster doses. But here in California, Dr. Longhurst wants to see booster doses for healthcare workers right away. He says even though the vaccines prevent severe disease well, their employees can't afford mild infections because it keeps their hospital workers away from the hospital. Derek Stahl, ABC 10 News. Experts say there may be two other variables at play. The Moderna vaccine has a higher concentration of mRNA than Pfizer's shot, and it was rolled out later, so there may be less opportunity for immune cells to wane.